I saw the Shah the last time in Mexico, at Cuernavaca, Mexico. Uh, he was then in the last phases of terminal cancer, although uh, he would never admit it or talk about his own problems at all. But he was quite thin and quite pale. Uh, but his head still as active and sharp as it always been. He's a very intelligent, introspective man. And he said that what concerned him about the way he was treated by the United States was not that the United States was for him or against him, but was the uncertainty of the policy. He says there's nothing worse when you are confronted with revolutionary and rebel forces and uncertainty in so far as support is concerned. One day, for example, he said statements would come in public and private from Washington indicating total support and urging him to stand firm. The next day, there would be some story leaked from a high-level aide uh, printed all over the world and per given particular credence in uh, Tehran uh, to the effect that lower level or second level people in the administration were meeting with Khomeini and others who were out to uh, knock the Shah off or out, as the case might be. And then the next day, it, it, there would be a story to the effect uh, that uh, in the event that the Shah left uh, Iran or was overthrown, the United States would be prepared uh, to accept any government that the people chose. Well, he said all of this had the effect of encouraging his enemies and, of course, discouraging his own supporters. He said that was a mistake, uh, and I believe it was a mistake, too. As a matter of fact, what happened to the Shah, uh, I think, could only be interpreted in that part of the world and other parts of the world as well is that it is dangerous to be a friend of the United States, and it may pay to be an enemy. Uh, I think what we have to understand is that the Shah was the best friend of the United States in that area, in the whole Persian Gulf area, and it was Israel's only friend. Uh, the Shah, we must remember, in the 1973 war, uh, furnished oil for our Mediterranean fleet when the other countries in the area had cut it off, uh, and the Shah tied down uh, the Iraqi forces by supporting the Kurds against the Iraqis so that they never got involved in the 73 war. And I know that the, Ka, the Shah, uh, when he spoke in Mexico about uh, what had happened, that he, he could not understand why it was that among his critics in the American media, uh, there were some of Jewish background, not all, but some who were among his most violent critics because they were liberals and they thought he was too reactionary and the rest. Uh, and he just couldn't understand that because he was the only friend that Israel had in that whole area of the world.